GTA 6 is not going to be happening for the next few years to come. And I know what you're already thinking. You're just another stupid GTA YouTuber. GTA 6 isn't confirmed. You're going to be deleted just like Sernando for your clickbait videos. If that's what you think, so be it. Get out of my channel. I don't want you here. We don't want you here. We, won't, we don't want that negativity. We're all about spreading positivity. So... Um, if you're too ignorant to even watch 30 seconds into a video where I don't confirm anything, I'm talking about a game that we know nothing about, please just leave. Go back to your second grade classroom. You're probably seven years old. So these videos are a little out of my element. I don't talk about GTA Online as much as I used to on the channel. Um, I just don't play GTA Online as much. I did ask on Twitter. I said, hey, how many of you guys play regularly? And a bunch of you still play the game regularly so you're probably wondering how in the world does is the title relevant to the video where gta 6 isn't happening for the next few years like where are you going with this where did you get this information so uh yesterday take two interactive which is rockstar games parent company like here's rockstar they create the games and here's take two they publish the games and they get them out there and, and roll them out. So they did what they call an earnings report for the last quarter of 2017 where they talk about all the money they made basically. It's just a big old conference call. And they also give a little bit of insight on some different things. So aside from the money thing, uh, Take-Two announced that GTA 5 has sold over 90 million copies since its release in 2013. That's 90 million copies worldwide. And in 2017 alone, GTA 5 sold over 15 million copies, which is record-breaking. Uh, for example, to put things in perspective, Star Wars Battlefront 2 released in November 2017, I believe it was, and it only sold like 7 million copies, which was way less than what was anticipated. And GTA 5 is a game that's 5 years old. Well, in 2018, it'll be 5 years old. We could say 4 years old at this point has sold over 15 million copies in one year alone. Like, that's record-breaking numbers right there. GTA 5 has definitely set the bar high, and it just goes to show you how big, expanse, and just profoundly amazing the game is, even after all of these years. And one thing they did confirm through this earnings report, like this conference call, is it is confirmed that GTA Online is actually going to see a bunch of brand new updates in the months to come, meaning 2018, we are going to get a bunch of brand new updates for GTA Online. And that's something a few weeks ago a lot of people were actually confused about. Towards the end of December, beginning of January, a lot of YouTube videos were being made where people were questioning whether or not 2017 was going to be the end of GTA Online updates. And the reason for that is because Rockstar is obviously working on their next game, which is Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, and I'm really excited for this game. I'm sure Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'm going to get to this in a moment, talking about the online modes in GTA. But Red Dead Redemption 2 is probably going to feature uh, online modes similar to GTA Online, except your cars are horses. There's no big skyscrapers. It's just Old West Towns, gum battles, and, and just living in the Wild West. And... The original Red Dead game did an amazing job at capturing the online mode. I loved it. I had uh, just a ton of fun playing this with my friends back in the day. And to see this in like a modern-esque time, like where we are in 2018, with how Rockstar has evolved with their games with GTA Online, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of similarities between GTA Online and Red Dead Redemption. Um, minus the fact that they take place like a hundred years apart. So, uh, there's going to be those kind of differences. But as far as microtransactions go, that's something that Rockstar with shark cards and GTA Online, this is probably the single most smartest, most just money making thing they have ever created aside from creating the GTA games. And shark cards are the reason GTA Online and GTA 5 has lasted so long and also sold so many games over time, over five years almost, because of shark cards and GTA Online. And it's always been this continuous psycho, psycho, <laughs> me, uh, cycle of things being added into the game. And even though the DLCs are free, you know, if you have the little quotations around that, um, you have to pay for the things that come 
in these free DLCs. And microtransactions are like the next big thing. Every game has them. I think the two gay, the two K, two K games, not the two gay games. The two K games they feature them. Fortnite features them. That's just what's making money nowadays, and that's what's cool. You get continuous updates to a game that aren't periodic. Like you know, some games feature updates every week gta online every couple weeks we get a couple new cars and then every few months we get like a big update and th that's the way things are going and i really do like that direction it makes it fun opposed to back in the day with like call of duty for example we got dlcs every few months and in this period of time we didn't get anything so the game would get stale you wouldn't want to play it for a while but with the way GTA Online and shark cards work, it kind of always sucks you back in. There's a new car that you want. There's new clothes. There's new tattoos, new buildings, apartments, whatever it is. And at the same time, while this is a good thing for Rockstar and the games and just keeping the players entertained, it's also something that I kind of don't like too much because Rockstar doesn't show the single player mode any love whatsoever. I've always been a big single player campaign guy when I was growing up in the early 2000s. There were select games at the time that had co-op that had or not co-op but had like multiplayer modes. Um Tom Clancy, the Tom Clancy games I believe had those. I think Halo and just a couple others. And it, I don't even think Call of Duty had multiplayer back then. It might have, but I'm not too sure. I was, I was pretty young. But I grew up playing primarily single-player games. And also back then we had dial-up internet, so it wasn't fast at all. You couldn't even get on Google if you wanted to without waiting like 10 minutes. So um, I grew up playing these single-player games like the older Medal of Honor games, obviously the older GTA games, the Call of Duty campaigns. And I had so much fun with them. It literally just immersed me and put me in this world like in the Call of Duty games, like I was in World War II, and I was going through these trenches or storming the beaches of Normandy. And nowadays, it's all about online, obviously. I've said it before just a few moments ago, but that's what people love. That's what people are enjoying. That's bringing people together, and that's also, it's making money. But at the same time, you can't forget about single player, in my opinion. You gotta show it some love, and I would have loved in GTA V, for example, to see the game get some sort of single player update. Now, that's not to say that maybe this year we will finally get something. We've been saying it every year since GTA 5 came out. But one thing that Rockstar did, which I was kind of disappointed in, but I kind of don't care about, is with the Doomsday Heist that we got in December. Um, GTA 5, since it first came out, has had this mystery revolving around Mount Chiliad, the jetpack, and where it is. And it's always been kind of inferred that we're going to get this in a single-player update because that's kind of where it's... It, 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 stemmed from single player but with the doomsday heist we pretty much got inside of mount chile yeah we finally got the jetpack but it was in a paid online dlc so it doesn't matter to me really as far as like paying for the stuff i enjoyed it and it was really cool to finally finally get some closure for this whole mystery all these years later but at the same time i would have loved to have gotten it within gta 5's single player opposed to online. I feel like that would have been way better. But at the same time, I'm possibly part of the minority. I'm probably part of like the 10% who actually enjoy playing through the single players versus everybody else. Younger kids, they don't got patience. They've got freaking the attention span of a, a rock. Like they, they just want to hop straight into the online mode and they want to just start killing people and being really annoying through your mics, like really staticky and just loud. That that <laughs> That's how online modes work. So uh, what do you guys think of this? Are you excited for the future of GTA Online and what it has in store? I am. Uh, hopefully we get some big updates this year for not only online but single player. And also, this is the reason why we're not going to know anything about the next GTA game for many years to come. Because Rockstar is focusing on online and GTA 5, which is being more successful than ever. So why stop now when this game is still building momentum? Why not ride this out, make the money, and then release the next game and uh, just start over, basically, and make even more money. So if you guys enjoyed, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications. That way you guys can see my videos. YouTube hasn't been sending them out to sub boxes as of late. And um, with that said, I think that's just about it. I always check my non-existent watch here. My name is Zach Cox. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you all in the next video.